January 1st, four hit and run accidents in Indianapolis have resulted in death, and often witnesses say there were no street lights at the scene of the crime. Yeah, the mayor's office and IPL are taking steps to brighten up Indy streets with a new initiative called Operation Nightlight. They're promising thousands of new lamps, but it might take a while. In the light of day, turning off 38th Street onto Winthrop Avenue is no problem. At night, you better have a flashlight. In lighting, there's a certain amount of security. Wilson Lorick can tell you. Especially on Baltimore. All about the streets in his neighborhood. Also on Gale, there's been an area. That are not well lit. Bad lighting creates a disrespect, you know, more that's for the positivity of the neighborhood. Today. He's one of the first to see the soft white glow of the city's new LED lights. Indianapolis has been waiting more than three decades for new light on its darkened streets. With the formal end of a streetlight moratorium today, the city of Indianapolis and IPL announced 27,000 city streetlights will get an upgrade to energy efficient LED bulbs. And with the money they save, the city will purchase and install 4,000 new street lights in dark areas of the city. A well lighted neighborhood, I think, is a safer neighborhood. They will be brighter, which, you know, and, and obviously the will be energy efficient, which means the lights will last much longer. And we think that's a significant safety benefit for the, the communities. Lorick agrees and says the new lights on his block are motivating him to continue improving his property. We're going to be in the spotlight, so that's what's going to have to be some changes here. <laughs> now, IPL executives say replacing the 27,000 lights will take three years, but the savings should begin this fall. That's when the mayor's office says they'll begin mapping out where the 4,000 new street lights should go. They encourage neighbors to nominate their street. You can find the link to do that on wishtv.com.